Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Andrea Chisholm. The inflation rate for Jamaica has jumped to 10.3%. The Statistical Institute of Jamaica Statin says for the 12 months up to November, the increase in the cost of goods was mainly influenced by a 2% increase in the index food and non-alcoholic beverages. The education division also had an impact. It had a 1.7% rise due to the increased fees for the Carbon Secondary Education Examination Certificate, CSEC. The overall rate of inflation was, however, tempered by a 2.4% fall in the index for the division, housing, water, electricity, gas and other fuels due to lower electricity rates. It was also tempered by a 2% decline in the index for the transport division as a result of lower petrol prices. For the fiscal year to date, the inflation rate stands at 6.2%. Gary Vaughan White has been appointed Vice President of Collateral Protection for Scotia Bank. In a notice to the Jamaica Stock Exchange, the financial group said the post will have oversight for the Caribbean, Central America and Uruguay. Mr. White will assume duties effective January 2. Scotia Bank has also advised that Adrian Reynolds has been appointed Vice President of Treasury. He assumed the post on the 1st of November. Regency Petroleum today listed on the junior market of the Jamaica Stock Exchange. JSE Managing Director Martin Street Forest said $1.89 billion has been raised on the stock market since the start of the year. RPL is the second company to list um, in the fuel sector of the junior market including the 287.16 million raised the company on the junior market um, the there is 1.89 billion that has been raised from the six ipos since the start of the year rpl will be the 47th company on the junior market and the 101st company or on the Jamaica Stock Exchange. 2022 saw companies listed than more companies listed than in 2020 and 2021. This signals that the market is now experiencing an uptick. The index is up 13.98% year to date. The US dollar is being sold for an average $154. $113.33 is the going rate for the Canadian dollar, $192.78 for the pound, while it's costing an average $164.63 for the euro. And the JSE index gained 850 points today, while the junior market index lost 34 points. Among the winners, Regency Petroleum, Palace Amusement, ISP Finance Services, Sibony Group, and Mayberry Investments. The losers were led by T Tech, Iron Rock Insurance, G West Corporation, Standy Motor, and Key Insurance Company. And that's it for the Business Day. I'm Andrea Chisholm. Good evening.